Got a new iPhone and want to learn all about the new iOS 5? We got all the tips today on Lab Rats. This episode of Lab Rats is brought to you by Click It or Ticket. Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And this is the show where we demystify technology and give you tips and tricks and techniques and stuff like that. And we've been focusing a lot lately on, uh, on mobile uh, and have actually a lot over the last year because it's become a mobile world. It is mobile world. Everyone's selling mobile. You can get mobile at the cheese shop these days. At the cheese shop. You can't get to anything like cheddar anymore, but you can get, <laughs> get mobile. Mobile. <laughs> Uh, iOS 5 is a buzzword you might have heard, not at the cheese shop, certainly probably if you bought an iPhone. It's the new operating system that uh, Apple shipped recently. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing about iOS 5 and any new operating system for any device for that matter always has these hidden features. A lot of hidden tricks, Easter eggs if you will. Easter eggs if you will. Yeah. So we thought we'd like dig into iOS 5 today, show you some of those. There's some really cool things and, uh, and some surprising features as well. So that's what we're going to do today on Lab Rats. So, Let's get started. But first, a message from our sponsor. This episode of Lab Rats is brought to you by Click It or Ticket. In an effort to save more lives on America's roadways, state and local law enforcement agencies will be out in force nationwide between May 21st and June 3rd, 2012, teaming up to crack down on motorists who are not buckling up. Did you know that in 2010, of over 22,000 people that were killed on the roads, 51% weren't wearing their seatbelt at the time of the accident? Guys, you gotta buckle up. When you get in your car, when you get out there on the roads, please take care. It's really important to us that you take care of yourselves and you, you take precautions. You know, we make the show every week, and we couldn't stand the idea of losing one of you guys um, and not, you know, not pushing play and watching our show. So please, when you go get out there over the next few weeks and forever, click, click it, it or tick it. it. Okay, good. Let's get started. So iOS five. Uh, iOS being the operating system that uh, is uh, the operating system on the Apple devices, iPhone, iPad, that sort of thing. Yeah, all of those things. Yeah. Right? So 5 being the latest version, and uh, if you don't have it on your iPhone right now, or you're not sure, you want to plug your iPhone into your computer and fire up iTunes and click on your iPhone icon on the left-hand side, and it'll tell you whether you can use a check for updates, and if there's a new update that hasn't been installed on your phone, you should say yes. Yes. Right? and that'll install, because you should have this because there's some really cool features. Now, yes. there's some things, of course, that are limited to the new hardware, uh, the iPhone 4S, and this first one is going to be that. So there's a new uh, piece of software, I guess you would call it, on the iPhone called Siri. Siri. Right? So Siri is this artificial intelligent uh, being, I guess, that lives inside your phone and answers your questions. Yeah, it's a personal assistant. It's a personal Is that what they're calling it? Is that, I, is that guess, I guess so, yeah. There, this is this sort of assistant. general term for all of these apps that are out there. Well, yeah. if, you do, if, you haven't, if you haven't accessed it yet, or you haven't seen it yet, then the, all you do is you're going to take, you're going to click on your, your home button here, and you're going to hold it down, right? And it's going to ask you, it'll actually beep like that, and then you're going to speak into it, and it'll, it'll interpret it. So um, one of the cool things about this is... I'm, I'm, let me just turn it off here a second. I'm gonna yeah, because it, it won't understand that ramble you just no. made. Siri, when I leave here, remind me to call my mom. Okay, and it sends it upstream. Yeah. It's not three well, there we go. It already knew that you were supposed to call your mom a couple times. <laughs> That's right, exactly. You don't want to forget to call your mom. In the setup, right? So there it is. Interpreting the actual uh, words you're saying, it's integrating it with your location, because of course there's a GPS built into this device, right? Mm -hmm. And then and then when I physically leave here, it will say, hey Andy, you know, you should call your mom. And might even give you me uh, the phone number as yeah, well. Yeah, that's actually tapping into one of the new uh, bits of software in iOS 5 as well called Reminders, which mm -hmm. has either text-based or location, uh, sorry, time-based or location-based reminders. Right, exactly. So it's putting it into your reminders. There you go, awesome. there you go. So that's, that's a, one of the fun new features. And you should play around with Siri because there's actually lots of cool features in there. Yeah, you can get other uh, applications. If you have the iPhone 4, you can get something like uh, Evi. They, they have uh, other applications that will do this for you. Not quite as integrated as uh, Siri is into the iPhone 4S, though. Well, one of the things that I really like about this integration here is if you go into your text messaging, you know when you drive mm -hmm. and uh, you want to type, you're not allowed to type anymore because it's illegal to use your phone. It's a bad idea, too. So you can actually use the, the voice integration now in, uh, in text messaging as well. So if I push the microphone, tell the guys I'm going to be five minutes late. 
it'll process. You see the red dots there, and it says tell the guys, and then be five minutes late. Close. Yeah. Yes, but you're not speaking directly into it like you no. would if you were actually using it. Exactly. But then you just push, push, go, as opposed to sitting there and potentially getting a, a ticket. Yeah, I guess that's one of the problems with, uh, with all of these voice-activated things is the voice recognition is pretty good, but it's not 100% perfect these days. So you might end up with little glitches like that. Exactly, exactly. Right. Um, next piece, which I really like, is uh, this is, again, another personalization layer. Um, I'm going to, you know when you're typing your text messages or typing anything, mm -hmm. right? And uh, let's say that uh, you're typing something like a location that you've, you've, that's unique to your area or whatever, and it consistently misspells that. Yes. Right? You can actually build in customized words into the dictionary by going to settings. And then we're going to go down to general here, which is right there. And then we're going to go down to keyboard, which is all the way at the bottom here. And then at the bottom of this list here, it says there's a bunch of different customizations. Mike, can you see? You can see that there's four here on the screen, right? So let's see this AW is actually just short for Andy. So when I type AW in any application, it will suggest that, it's, that, that I, you should replace it with Andy. Um, if you're talking to your loved one, uh, I type in ILU, and it translates it into I love you, XOXO uh, sort of thing, right? So again, it's shortcuts that customize your uh, way of typing into a longer word so it doesn't have to, to type it all the way out. Yes. I've actually put SC here for Sean Carruthers, so when I type SC, it'll prompt yeah. me for your name. So it's not just like uh, being able to properly spell things that aren't in the dictionary, it's also about uh, creating macros. Macros as yeah. well, exactly. Right. And to do that, just click on Add New Shortcut, and then you type in the phrase you want in the shortcut and what it means, and that's how you do that. So that's a very, very handy feature. Okay. Um, next cool iOS 5 feature I want to show you is in uh, Safari. Mm -hmm. This is just a new way to capture pictures. I'm just going to take it out of the cradle here and, and get to uh, a website. But and you can pick any website you like that happens to have images on it. If you want to grab the image from the web mm -hmm. and put it onto your phone. In this particular case here, I have this is a website uh, that I created called Death is Obsolete about you know, living forever and hyper longevity issues. Uh, at deathisobsolete.com. If I touch this image here, you'll see is, it'll say, would you like me like to open it, open it a new page, um, add it or copy it. So I can actually, you know, or save the image. I can save the image here and it'll actually be saved into my, my photos um, so that I can use it in a, some other form. There you go. So you don't have to go through a whole lot of rigmarole to save images that you see online. You just press and hold anything you see inside Safari and there you go. There you go. It's just a gra great way to grab images from the web. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, if you're a manic weather uh, checker, Mm -hmm. And I know you, on the weekends, you go and shoot birds and that, so I imagine mm -hmm. that weather is a big factor With my camera, you. with my camera. With your camera. I don't shoot them you with the gun. Don't bang, bang. You click, click. Yes. You got it. So he, he you don't, you, you I don't hunt photograph birds. birds. You don't yes. shoot birds. It's important, right? Yes. Um, so you want to check the weather forecast. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a new feature uh, that was introduced into iOS that's basically um, a status bar. As, as you pull it down, they actually had this in Android first, and they introduced it in yeah. iOS 5 recently. Yeah, and this has got a whole lot of stuff, like your messages, things that you miss, phone calls, whatever. Exactly. So you just grab the top here, and you pull it down. Mm -hmm. But what's neat is you'll notice that there's a, my location with the weather forecast. Now I can swipe sideways here to get the next forecast through Saturday through Thursday, so the six-day forecast. Yeah, and a lot of people didn't know. They, they see things when you drag that bar down, but they don't know that some of them you can swipe sideways. And that's the, what's, what happens with, with this particular operating system. There's lots of like things one layer below where you are, yeah. and you just have to know how to access it, usually with a gesture of some sort. Mm -hmm. So that's the six-day weather forecast, right? Um, this the next one is kind of cool. It was reserved really for people that have accessibility issues, like vision impaired or hearing impaired or whatever. But I think every, everyday people can actually use this mm -hmm. particular feature. Um, and this is uh, called Custom Vibes. Okay. So essentially what you want to do is you want to go into... Are these like good vibes? Good vibes. It can be good vibes. Let me see if I can pull this up here for a second. Yeah, it's always hard to do these uh, backwards and upside down. So this is your listing here. I'm not going to show it on camera because it has all your phone numbers and all. everybody yes, will call you in the middle thank, of the night. Thank you so much. But uh, so I'm going to click on the edit button for the feature, and it, if I scroll to the all the way to the bottom here, it says ringtone. So I can set a custom ringtone for you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, which you've been able to do for a while for different people. That's right. But the vibration is the new the new thing. So if I click, and you can actually buy, by the way, the a custom text tone as well. But the vibration is kind of cool. So go into vibration. Now what happens is I can have some presets here. So let's go heartbeat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it against my microphone here. Oh, you want me to call you now? Probably. No, no, no. No, I'm just, I can actually just sample it. Can you hear it? Good. 
So I can use. Yeah, I, I choose, can't even hear it. Yeah. I can use different. This is actually the font just vibrating. Yeah. So I can do different um, features like that. But what's really cool about this is you can actually create your own vibration. So you go into there, Ooh. right? And then you can say. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, like so, that. So tap to create a vibration pattern. So dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. Right? Stop. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So then if I do this here and I push play. Reading? Yeah? yeah. So there you go. So you can set up your own custom vibration um, tone for whoever you like. Ideal for people that have hearing issues, but also, if you think about it, I mean, great for people like you and I, especially if we're in meetings and maybe your girlfriend or your yeah. wife is calling or something like that. You know, at a, at a, just at a vibration that, uh, that it's someone important that you have to take the call, and if it just rings regularly and vibrates regularly, you can just ignore it. You know exactly. So it's really good for prioritizing. All right, good. So uh, that's, uh, those are some cool things. We'll put up another uh, link here on a really great article that has 25 different tips um, that you can check out uh, with the new iOS 5. All right, well, that's it for the Lab Rats this week. Uh, you can see us on at labrats.tv, all almost 300 episodes now uh, on that site. Uh, you can go over to youtube.com slash labratsland and, uh, and see us there. Uh, we have some actually really cool uh, collections there of like uh, episodes with cats, episodes with food demos, you want to check that out. Um, and of course on Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. Facebook. Facebook.com slash labratsland. There you go. All right. That's it for us. Oh, we, if you want to email us, so you might want to do that. Uh, you can email us at feedback at labrats.tv. Thanks for pushing play this week. You know, it'd be silly for us to be here playing with uh, iPhone tips, tips and tricks. If you weren't out there going, oh, I don't know how to use this. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. We'll see you next time. Are you ready?